Howdy howdy guys, it's Hippo again and today I'm coming at you with another PvE build that was a little bit more situational but will be slightly fun to run. So let's take a look at the build and the specializations. So starting with the specialization, we are actually using the survivalist today. Uh, that is because we're using the tip of the spear gear set uh, and we need the special weapon. It synergizes quite well. Uh, the main things that we're sort of taking advantage of here is the synergizing weapon damage, uh, the crossbow, uh, that is actually a big part of it. Uh, the fire grenades are quite nice for holding enemies back. Uh, the increased protection elites, protection from elites is quite nice. Um, sharing the medkits and 15% extra outgoing healing is nice. The roly ball, again, Mender Seeker Mine is great. Uh, and we get 10% bonus damage to targets when status effects are actually active, so the fire grenade and that synergize well. Uh, we also get a little bit of skill haste when we're in cover, and we can gain 5% ammo per second when your current weapon performing a coven to cover. So that's going to synergize quite nicely with the knee pads. So I'm going to go down to the range to take a quick look and show you the build while we're down there. So we can see the range is on heroic, so we can benchmark damage numbers the same for every video. And what I'm going to do is just quickly talk you through the weapons, the build, and the skills. So to start off with, um, I'm using the Good Times LMG. Uh, there is a reason for this, as many things with my builds. So again, it's not perfect, but it's set up so we can get sorted with this. So it's running LMG damage. Um, damage to out of cover targets and additionally fire rate. We've got fast hands, uh, which basically what it does is as you get crits, it adds a stack of reload speed up to 40%. So it's very, very, very fast to reload if you hit all your stacks. We're also using the Chameleon Assault Rifle uh, to build up damage. This is to do with the gear set that we're gonna use to gain a lot of additional extra damage. Uh, what this does is it hitting headshots gives you 20% extra crit chance and 50% extra crit damage for 45 seconds. Very, very strong. Uh, hitting body gives you an extra 90% damage for 45 seconds. That's going to synergize really well with our gear, gear set. Uh, and hitting the legs increases reload speed by 150%, which is not really too important and we won't really be taking massive advantage of that. The pistol, like many builds nowadays, is the TDI card custom, which just needs rolling the pistol damage, and has Optimist to increase weapon damage as we fire off the magazine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the gear set, talk about that, and then I'm going to move on to the other pieces, the gold and the exotic, afterwards. So we're using the tip of the spear gear set, and we're using a mask to start off with. So I'll go through how the pieces are rolled, and then we'll talk about the gear set second. Uh, the core attributes are weapon damage and crit damage, and this is going to be the same for everywhere. We've got crit chance mods in just to supplement and get some more crit chance, so we're going for the tri-factor, and that is weapon damage, crit hit damage, and crit hit chance. The chest piece is again rolled very similarly, weapon damage, crit hit damage, and uh, crit hit chance, with the special talent, which is very, very important. We need this talent. So basically, that's going to increase the aggressive recon's weapon damage bonus from 20 to 40%. Okay, The holster is rolled again the same, needs a little bit more crit damage. Hopefully we can find a better one there. Weapon damage, crit damage. The backpack is rolled into weapon damage and crit hit damage and a crit hit chance mod. Um, also, uh, it's got a talent on the backpack and it's called signature moves increases the signature weapon damage by 20 percent and doubles the amount of signature weapon ammo generated by aggressive recon so let's take a look at what that's going to mean so two pieces of the um gear set is going to give us signature weapon damage at 10 percent the backpack's nicely going to increase that uh, by 20 percent so giving us 30 percent total signature weapon damage in total the three piece is going to give us 10% weapon damage. The four piece is going to give us aggressive recon. So dealing damage with signature weapon uh, increases total weapon damage by 20% for 60 seconds. 
um, and you also automatically regenerate signature weapon every 60 seconds. So how that's going to help is with the chest piece, obviously we're amplifying that damage to 40%. So when we hit an enemy with a crossbow, we gain an extra 40% and it's also worth taking a look at the special weapon. We're actually hitting for 4.7 million off the crossbow, which is the highest out of all the signature weapons. So this thing is really hitting hard. Um, so what I'm going to do is just quickly go over the other two pieces here. I've got a pair of the Fenris Assault Group. Um, so this is giving me Assault Rifle damage, uh, Weapon damage, Crit Chance and Crit damage. Again, as we always would go for the Tri Factor of damage. And then I am using the Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads. Now there's an important reason behind using these. It's going to synergize with us being able to keep uptime not only on our crossbow, on our LMG and assault rifle, it's by reloading, but we can gain a little bit of bonus armor as well if we make a cover to cover move. Um, so what we're going to do here is just quickly go over the build and how to use it. Uh, and then I'll come back and just talk about these two last little attachments here. Okay. So heading into the range, uh, we're going to regenerate ammo every 60 seconds, which is quite important. Um, you can bear in mind help other teammates. So even though we are damaged, we can put out the mender mine. Uh, should we switch to the pistol, we're going to get two shots with the reviver hive as well. So we can be a good teammate and pick up teammates. Um, the pistol, like I say, that's just there for increasing the skill tier and does reasonable damage. Okay. Um, one thing we are going to need to do, let's just pull a target close and we'll switch to a bigger target. Okay. And what we're going to do is pull out the crossbow and you can see I've already regenerated full ammo on this right now. So let's just see what this hits for. Okay. So hitting for about 3 million on a shot there. Uh, and you'll see in the bottom corner of the screen, I've actually got a little green icon that's come up. So now what we can do is we can start shooting at a target. And that's increased my damage by the amplified 40% that I had. Should I use the chameleon? I'm then going to get another, you know, 90% on top of that. So let's bring this target close, build up some stacks, see what we can start hitting for. So the time window that I've got, I can synergize using both the chameleon and the gear set to be hitting for some pretty crazy numbers so we're hitting for nearly 500,000 to the chest and about 600,000 to the head which is not really too bad that's quite good um, and then we've got the good times LMG as you can see again the increased stacks will give you faster reload time. So let's just see how many of those we can get off, just to see how this build does with actually getting stacks. You can see that it's going up quite nicely there. I think we should probably get it in this magazine. Yep, 47 rounds left. So you can see, because we've got a lot of crit chance, a lot of crit damage, let's, now we've got 40 stacks, look. This should be a fast reload. Great, let's see, that's really fast. So the other thing to bear in mind is that we have the ninja bag knee pads. So hopping over cover will reload things for us. So this crossbow takes a hell of a long time to reload. However, should you be using it aggressively, you can just cover to cover and reload straight away. I can't really show that off in the range. Again, with this gun, when you're building up stacks, the last thing you want to really be doing is actually reloading. So you can dump a whole magazine cover to cover and then get the magazine back or simply just hop the cover and get your magazine back, whichever's fastest, and then concentrate on getting these stacks built up so you can get massive damage. Now, if you can do simple maths, 40 and 90 is, uh, you know, a little bit of extra damage for you. So it's 130% extra stacked up on top, on top of everything that you've already got. Uh, and the LMG will supplement you quite nicely for putting down suppression fire. Uh, like I say, have the rolly ball out. That will help your teammates. You won't even have to think about it. Also, one of the benefit that you do have is should you take any damage with the gear set that you're using, if you have any teammates near you, simply med kit and you will heal yourself and those other teammates around you as well within a radius of about 20 meters. So um, you can actually put out damage and heal people quite nicely, which is which is good. Um, and where I'd actually recommend this build is actually in dark hours. Dark hours, this is great for sitting on the little pads or patrolling and covering because you have the ability to regenerate ammo and shoot out the little uh, area where you throw the grenade on Razorback. 
Uh, and it's actually okay in many of the missions, uh, albeit that it's a little bit different to play because you have to build your damage through situational means. Now, for the average player that plays the game that just wants a, a build that's going to do everything for them straight away, this isn't going to be of much interest to you. But for a more veteran player that's a bit tired of the game, that needs a little bit of a change up, I hope this build will give you something that will make you enjoy the game again, making it a little bit more difficult, but more enjoyable to play and possibly even more rewarding. Um, what I'd like to do is very quickly just go over the stat sheet and show you the stat sheet. And then once I show you the stat sheet, I'll be able to give you an idea of what stats I've got. So let's just take a look at that now. So looking at the weapons, we've got the uh, perfect hands talent, adaptive instincts. So I'm just going to go through these and let you take a quick look. Um, and then obviously see my crit chance, crit damage. 52.6% crit chance, which is not bad considering we're using a gear set, and 113 crit damage. On the chameleon, it's slightly higher. We're at 60% crit chance, which is fantastic. And crit damage with a little bit of headshot damage. So we're sitting at all weapons damage bonus. Now, one thing we do need to do is do a little bit of mathematics here. So we're sitting at 109 as base. When we hit the crossbow, we're going to do 40% extra weapon damage. And bearing in mind that the gear set gives us another uh, 10 as well, that will actually be calculated in there. So let's just quickly go over that. That's 130% extra damage to add on top of that. So when you have all your um, pieces set off, you're going to have 239.8% all weapons damage bonus, which is great, but you have to use it within the window of time, and this is why some players will steer away from this build. Again, we're very squishy with armor, only 726,000. Some protection from elites, however, to make that go a little bit further for you in PvE. That's all off the watch. Okay, and we're running, as I say, a hive and a rolly ball that's just a healer ball, the mender mine. The attachments, as always, are revived armor, range, and health on the um, uh, reviver hive. And on the Mender Mine, we are using Skill Haste, 15%, um, which is the actual in-slot one you get off the tree, uh, and 15% extra healing. So I hope this build uh, gives you a little bit of something different to play with, and if you've ever thought about making a Tip of the Spear build, they can be very good in a situational way. Leave a message in the comments, please subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. And I hope this gives you something that is a little different and brings the game back to life again for you. Thanks again, guys. See you in the next one.